Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mackenzie Graham. I'm super excited about this video today. So I filmed it quite a while ago in the midst of quarantine. I reviewed Designer Pro Mazikeen. I think I'm saying it right. Mazikeen and Borboletta lashes. Keep in mind that every brand is different. So first I wanted to give you a little bit of backstory on each company, each brand. So Designer Pro is founded by Anna. She has a little bit over five years experience. She has a storefront in New York and I happen to know she's actually moving to, I was gonna say Australia. She's not moving to Australia. She's moving to Arizona. And if you've never heard of her before, I think she's most well known for her tweezers. I can't even tell you how much I love her tweezers. If you've not tried hers, my two favorite ride or dies are the 24 karat gold tweezer. Mine is the multicolor. I don't actually have it here with me. And I love her secret tweezer. So spend the money, get those tweezers. They're amazing. Mazikeen, I believe is a fairly new company. I just found them and I only found them because they were in a Top Shelf Beauty the Brand box. What's really nice about them in their about section, they are all about being eco-friendly and part of that movement, what they're doing is by putting 20 rows of lashes in their trays, they're reducing how many trays they're producing and reducing how many trays lash artists must purchase, which is really nice. And the gal who started the company, her name is Cynthia. And I think it's really cool how she's incorporating being mindful of the environment. And I think that's really important moving forward. Another thing that's really nice about their design is it's super ergonomic. And you'll see in the video later when I get to that. And then we have Borboletta lashes, which I will be reviewing. So the owner and founder, Kimber Jane, she started doing lashes about 10 years ago. And basically, Borboletta started from there. If you've not heard about Borboletta, you are living under a rock. She is probably one of the biggest companies based in Utah. They have a lot of trainings and a wide range of products. All right, so first up, I'm gonna be reviewing Designer Pro's CC Curl in the 0 .07 diameter. It has 16 rows. And what I really like about this tray, it has a lot more of the shorter lengths. I find I run out of nines and tens and 11s the most. What I really like about this tray as well is that it stops at length 14. I rarely use over length 13 and so the trays that come with 15s I find don't get used at all. Next up, I have the Mazikeen lashes, and I don't know if I'm saying that properly. They sent me exactly how to say it, but I still think I'm butchering it. What's really cool about this tray, the side comes all the way down like this, so when you come open, it's really easy to get your tweezer in there to grab the strips. Another thing that's amazing about this case is it has 20 rows. I don't know any other lash brand that has more than 16. Same thing with this brand. It's really cool. They have a lot of the shorter lengths and 10s and 11s and 12s, which I feel like most lash artists use these ones a lot. They have one row of 15, which I think is great that it's just one because I don't use those lengths at all. And this is their C curl in 0.05. Then we have Borboletta's new line, the OG Lashes. This packaging is super fun. It's just more aesthetically pleasing than anything else. Same thing with this tray as designer's tray. They have 16 rows. What's cool about this one is it has the curl as well as the diameter and length on it. Same thing, they have about the same amount of the shorter lengths, which is great to have multiples of those and then only one 15, which again, I don't think is completely necessary unless you're using it for something like spikes in a textured set. I'm using EBL's Grand Rapid Adhesive and I like to use it in a glue ring. What's nice about the Top Shelf Beauty the Brand palette is it does have a little jade stone up here, which is really nice because it sits into the palette and so it doesn't move around or shift on your tile. Another thing, this tile is huge and I really love that. I started by taking a couple of the lashes off the strip just so I can use it to make the fan. The lashes are super lightweight, like a true 0 0.07. Some 0 0.07s are a little bit thicker, as if it were a 0 0.08 even. I don't even think that's a thing. 
Overall, I really liked these .07s. I thought it was super easy to fan and I could be really consistent with it. Next up, we're going to play with the Mazikeen lashes. I haven't played with too many .05s, so when I tried these, I was a little skeptical, but you guys, I actually really liked playing with these .05s. These were super easy to fan. I used fanning off the strip to use the sticky part of it, but I actually really like pinching them now as well. So I was pleasantly surprised with how this fan turned out since I haven't played with too many .05s. Last but not least, we have Borboletta's OG Lashes. These were, again, super easy to fan, a little bit thicker .07 than some, which again makes it a little bit easier to play with. I really liked them, felt like I could be really consistent with them as well, and the curl was really beautiful. All right, guys, hit the comments below. Let me know if you've tried these brands before, what your thoughts are, what you think, what other brands you would like me to try and review. I really enjoyed doing this video. I think it's super fun. For a long time, I was really only using a couple different brands. So I think it's really fun to branch out and try all the different things. So I would love for you guys to tell me what you want me to try next. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an upload. I'll see you in the next one.